It is time for worship. So come on, let's go. Wherever I go, whatever I do, I tell the world of Jesus' love. Wherever I go, whatever I do, I tell the world of Jesus' love. Yeah, He loves me, He loves, me. He loves you, He loves, he loves you. us all so very much. Yeah, He loves me, He loves me. Whatever I do, I tell the world of Jesus' love. Wherever I go, whatever I do, I tell the world of Jesus' love. Yeah, He loves me. He loves yeah, me. He loves you. He loves, he loves you. us all so very much. Yeah, He loves me. He loves yeah, me. He loves you. He loves you. position or posture for praying, you would most likely stand or kneel down. But there are so many others like sitting or standing or lying down or lifting of the hands. It doesn't matter what praying posture or position you're in, that doesn't stop Papa God from hearing your prayers. The main focus is that you are Focusing on what you are talking about to Papa God and that you let your heart be focused on Papa God Then he will hear you and answer you Let's open our Bibles and see what the Word of God says about pray In Isaiah 58 verse 9 Papa God says When you pray I will answer you When you call to me I will respond Wow Papa God is so amazing he will always hear you, no matter what position or where you are, He will always listen to your prayers, no matter what. So let's look at all these different praying positions 
and see what the Word of God says about each one of them. The first position we're looking at is kneeling. Ephesians 3 verse 14, New Living Translation. When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father. So when you're in this position, you will say, Thank you, Papa God, for this glorious day. In Jesus' name, Amen. The next position is standing. Mark 11 verse 25, Amplified Bible. Whenever you stand, pray. If you have anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive your transgressions and wrongdoings. Wow, that's amazing and it feels so powerful to stand up for God. The next one we're looking at is sitting. 2 Samuel 7 verse 18 Then King David went in and sat before the Lord and prayed, who am I, O Sovereign Lord, and what is my family that you have brought me this far? Wow, King David sat and he prayed to Papa God. That's amazing. The next one we're looking at is lying down. The Psalms 149 verse 5, New Living Translation. Let the faithful rejoice. That you honest them, let them sing for joy as they lie on their beds. So while you are at home in bed at night, you can say, Thank you, Papa God, for this glorious day. I love you so much. I worship you, Lord. How amazing is that? The next one we're looking at is the lifting of hands. In 1 Timothy 2 verse 8, New Living Translation. Lifting of hands in every place of worship. I want men to pray with holy hands, lifted up to God, free from anger and controversy. Wow, that is so amazing. So, what did we learn today? We learned that no matter what position or posture you're praying in, Papa God will always listen and He will always respond. Papa God is a good God and He wants to hear from each one of you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bye friends! Hi there, would you like to become a child of God today? Great! You can pray with me right now. So say these words with me. Father God, thank you for loving me. Father God, thank you for loving me. I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God. Son of the living God. I believe he died for me. I believe he died for me. And God raised him from the dead. And God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive. I believe he is alive. I confess with my mouth. I confess with my mouth. That Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ. Is Lord of my life from today. Is Lord of my life. From today, I have eternal life. I have eternal life. I am born again. I am born again. I am a child of God now. I am a child of God now. I receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I receive the gift of the Holy Spirit to live in me. To live in me. To guide me every day. To guide me every day. Amen. Congratulations, you are now a child of God.